we on the same side? Yes. Now, if you will excuse me. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going home. Before you go, I'll give you a chance to prove that we're on the same side. Do you want that chance? Well, what do you want me to do? Tell me about the werewolf. A werewolf? There's no such thing. Don't tell me there's no such thing. Such ignorance doesn't become a man with your history. Now you know there's one. And you know he's around here. I know there's been talk about a strange animal in the woods, but no one's ever seen it. It's hard to tell in a village like this what is legend and what is it's not. It's not hard to tell. Now there is a werewolf here, just as he senses that I'm here. I didn't know that he was your enemy. Well, now you do. Now you start listening to the legends more closely. Because I've got to find out where he is. And I've got to find out who he is. And I've got to kill him before he kills me! He's gone. No. no. Don't you understand? You're all right. You had a bad scare, but but I saved you. Why didn't you leave me alone? Leave you alone? Look, if I hadn't come along, he'd have killed you. He wouldn't have hurt me. He wouldn't. He Carolyn. Carolyn and her mother are both sleeping. Well, then what's the matter? Nothing with them, but plenty with me. What do you mean? Please come in here. Barnes. My life here now as Angelique Rumson is terribly important to me. Especially Sky. I couldn't bear it if I lost him. I won't lose him. I know that. Then you must know that you must get Carol and Elizabeth out of here immediately. But you said they could stay here as long as he was away. They could stay even longer as far as he's concerned. When I told him I had house guests, he said, he said they could remain here as long as they wished. Did you tell him who they are? Yes. He was very generous about them. He's a very kind and generous man. But I am not so generous. And I will not give up my happiness to help anyone. But if he approves... Listen to me, Barnabas. Last night, Elizabeth was looking at me very intently and insisted that I reminded her of someone. <laughs> Carolyn suggested that perhaps she'd see me in some magazine. Did she accept the suggestion? Yes, she did. For the moment. Barnabas, how much longer is it going to be before she recognizes the woman named Cassandra who was married to her brother? 
How much longer before I make some, some slip and reveal a little bit too much knowledge of the Collins family? And I won't just be revealing myself to Elizabeth. I'll be revealing myself to a dedicated member of the Leviathans. And then we are all lost. Yes, she is a dedicated member. But I am her leader and she'll do exactly as I say. Will she? Will she, even if Jeb tells her to do otherwise? She will never do anything to hurt Carol, and that I know. Well, you know a lot more than I do. And you're a lot more confident that nothing will happen here. Oh, Barnabas, if something does happen here. If... Oh, there's nothing more I can say. If Sky finds out about me, I'm completely lost. All right, Angelique. I'll take them away. Thank you, Boris. Tomorrow. No, oh, please, now. I can't. The danger to Carolyn is worse than ever. I'll come back to take them tomorrow, to take them away. All right. But until then, I'm the one who's in danger. Barnabas, remember, if you fail to keep your promise... I won't fail. thing that is a werewolf. You saw him? Saw him. I fought him and shot him at close range. He ran off into the woods, badly wounded. But not dead. I told you you've got to use a silver bullet. Then next time I'll get silver bullets when I meet him. Because the next time the moon is full, I'm going to be right there with him. How can you say that? Because tonight I found more than just a werewolf. I found a girl who wasn't afraid of him who felt she could control him. Control him? That girl must know him very well. So that girl's gonna lead us to him the next time the moon's full. Who is this girl? Her name's Sabrina Stewart. Uh, she lives at the inn with her brother. I did, took her home. Did you meet the brother? No, she said he was away for the night. I wonder if that means... I don't know. Look, maybe I should take care of him just as soon as possible, just on the chance that... No, no, you fool. If you kill him while he's... In, in, in human form, it'll turn him into an animal forever. And that's just what he's like. So he can haunt me always. And how always? Look, if he bothers you that much, I'll go look for him right now. Don't worry. You've got Bruno. Hello? This is Jebez Hawks. Who is this? Oh, I see. Yes, I'd like to know very much about Carolyn Stoddard. Well, well if you do, tell me. Oh, now, isn't that a coincidence? On Little Windward Island. No, tomorrow won't do. No, tomorrow won't do at all. It'll be too late. It has to be tonight, you understand? I thought you would. Now listen very carefully. The ceremony must take place there, on Little Windward Island. And this is what I want you to do. anything before I let the servants go back to the mainland? It's the night off. No, thank you. Nothing for me, thank you, Angie. Oh. What's the matter, darling? Nothing. You haven't said a word for over an hour. Mother, when are we going back to Colin? When I feel you are fully recovered. Recovered from what? You make it sound as if I had some sort of disease. Carol, you gave us a terrible scare. You can't deny you needed this rest. No, I can't. 
But now I am rested. I feel as healthy as I've ever felt. Well, then we won't have to stay much longer. Why are you staring at me? Once or twice I've had the feeling that we came here because you wanted to get away from Colin. Whatever gave you that impression? I don't know. It seems to me you've changed lately. You don't smile as much as you used to, and something about your eyes is different. I don't know what it is. It's your imagination. Certainly my concern for you hasn't changed. Well, the servants are gone. We're all alone together until my husband returns. How did you and your husband happen to find this place? Oh, Sky owned it before I met him. He finally persuaded me to come and live here. You mean you had to be persuaded? Oh, well, you see, I, I had grown accustomed to city life. That's where I met Sky. I wasn't sure I could adjust to the solitude and isolation of this place. And have you? Well, yes. I've never been happier. You say you've always been accustomed to the city? Yes. How did you meet Barnabas Collins? I was in England. I was a model. I met Barnabas at a party. After he came back to this country, he got in touch with me. We've been corresponding ever since. I see. You know, I can't get over the feeling that I've met you somewhere before. Yes. Yes, you mentioned that earlier. But I'm sure it's just someone... Someone who reminds you of me. Excuse me. Hello. Hello, darling. Sky. Well, where are you? I'm at that little airport near Logansport. I want you to come and pick me up. Why? Something happened? Nothing, except that I'm stuck. I've placed three calls on a big deal, and they're, they're all calling back here. Oh, can't you change the calls here? No, I might miss them all together. And by the time I finish talking to them, I won't be able to get a ride home. All right. All right, darling. I'll be there as soon as I can. Bye. I'm terribly sorry. I'm afraid my husband is a bit impulsive. He wants you to pick him up, I gather. Yes, I have to go all the way to the Logansport Airport. He's got some important phone calls he has to wait for there. It'll be several hours before I can get back. Don't worry about us. We'll be fine. Oh, you're very understanding. But I'm sure you know where everything is. Just make yourselves at home. Her husband seems to be rather demanding. She must be very devoted to him. Mother, why were you so inquisitive with her before the phone call? I didn't mean to be. Hello? I'd like to speak to Elizabeth Stoddard, please. Oh, this is she speaking. Mrs. Stoddard, my name is Jeb Hawks. We've never met, but you know what I, who I am, don't you? Yes, of course. It is very important that you return to Collinwood immediately, alone. I'm afraid that is impossible. Something urgent has come up. Barnabas and I decided we need you here. Yes, he asked me to call you. I'm afraid there's no time for explanations. You will not tell anyone there that Mrs. Johnson called. Do you understand? Yes, I understand, Mrs. Johnson. Good, how soon? What about a half an hour? Good. You'll receive further instructions when you get to Collinwood. Thank you. I'll be there, Mrs. Johnson. Is something wrong? No. What did Mrs. Johnson want? Oh, Mrs. Johnson called to remind me of something I completely forgot about. What? Oh, some company papers that have to be signed by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'm afraid I'll have to go back and attend to it. Very soon, you will see me as I really am. back as soon as I can. 
I wish I were going with you. So do I. We've accepted Angelique's hospitality. Now that she's gone, we just can't just leave without an explanation. You understand, don't you, dear? Yes, of course I do. Angelique will only be gone an hour or so. You won't be alone, alone for long. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. No. I'll call when I get back to Conway just to be sure. All right. Good night. Good night. Jeb Hawks. I barely know him, and yet I can't stop thinking about him. Why? Why? What happened to me in the antique shop that night? Why did I faint? I don't understand any of it. Or maybe I'm afraid to. Yes, I, I will tell him it was very important. 